Monday, everybody. It's uh, February 20th, around 10 a.m. Uh, we're just opening up for the day. An ongoing battle with the website again and again. It keeps coming the fuck up. I don't even know why I keep updating this shit. It's about 11.48. I'm on my way to Walmart, gonna pick up an extension cord, uh, some more nine millimeter ammunition, and then I'm gonna head to the shooting range for about an hour, try to kill 200 rounds. Just had to gas up real quick. I'm at Walmart, I'm gonna go in and grab my shit. I'll be right back. Waiting on a Walmart attendant. Thank you. Okay, have a good one. Thank you. I right, got my ammo. Now I'm heading to Shooter's World. All right. shot through like 350 rounds in less than an hour that shit goes quick and I forgot to take my GoPro in oh yeah baby now I'm heading back to the shop Oh. It's like too big or something. Yeah, oh. Now because I tried to email it to the guy and it wouldn't even email it. I have to look over some things, so I'm gonna get to that and then I'll be back with uh, our regularly scheduled vlog. Yeah, I did. That pigeon was so close, I could have reached out. And... I'm going to Circle K. I need some beverages. Give myself. Couple of Red Bulls, get Alex a Blue Dew, and Jesse wants nothing. He already has water. You can make it, you can make it. Yeah, when I started doing this whole this whole vlogging deal, the thing that I thought would be the most embarrassing is talking to the camera, but it turns out just um, having to explain yourself to everybody is the most irritating part. And all the strange looks you get from everybody. I did that review on those Limo Studio lights. And they had a really short fucking cord, so while I was at Walmart, I picked up two of them. Okay. This looks good because I'm kind of backlit. I like this angle. Sure. I bet you feel good, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You got a kid up here. I'll be right back. My very first handgun review. If you're interested, the FNS 9 Long Slide, check it out. Let's do it. First thing you'll notice, you get greeted with this bright blue. The reason I ended up buying this gun is one, made in America, two, it comes with three clips. One, two, three. Uh, whereas similar like five inch guns only come with two. So it just seemed like a better value. Nothing in the chamber here. Seems like it's solidly built. I saw online a lot of people saying that they had a failure to eject. But I just made sure to clean it from the factory. It had this oil in it that was kind of thick, like almost like it had gelled over. So maybe that's why people were having issues. But I cleaned it, re-lubricated it before shooting any rounds out of it, and I haven't had a single issue. One of the first things I noticed when shooting it, the texture on these handles is like super aggressive. And it, it was like destroying my hands. So I ended up having to grind the, the back of it down, and then I just stippled it. It's a lot more comfortable. I have talon grips on the way and I'll review those as soon as I have them installed. After shooting it today for the second time and taking off the aggressive grip, I didn't have as much gun control. So you almost want the texturing to hurt your hand because that's how you really know it's biting in and it wasn't bouncing out of my hand as much. Yet today, now that it's a little bit smoother, it was bouncing out more. So as far as the, the, trigger, the trigger pull and reset, 
It's, good. it's, it's heavy. And then there's a definite wall. Pull it. Very short pull. Quick reset. See, I mean, if you ask me, that's really good. Loud, audible reset. And I have noticed that after about 500 rounds is when the trigger really started to loosen up. And it's getting... It's getting easier to pull every time I shoot it. The takedown is pretty straightforward. Lock it back, pull that, let it line up, pull the trigger, and it's taken down. It's got the steel guide rod in it, which, I, I, from my understanding, a lot of these striker fired pistols, I, like the Glocks and shit, come with uh, polymer guide rods. So, I mean, that's a nice little upgrade. It's nice, man. I don't know much about these things, but it shoots well. Shoot, as far as the sights, I mean, they work fine for me. There is one issue I was having, I guess that it's, it's an ambidextrous clip release. Uh, now, it's funny, I'm naturally a lefty, but I'm right eye dominant. So, I, I just decided to start shooting right-handed. When I'm wearing a ring, I accidentally released the magazine while I was shooting. Again, I'm not a professional, so it may, have just, it may just be the way that I'm holding it. It would be an easy fix if I 100% commit to right-hand shooting. You could just grind this side off and then it would be fine. I, I'm sure I would have no problems with it. But yeah, even when I'm releasing this, if I'm gripping the gun high and I hit this release, my back of my finger almost stops it from going all the way. Uh, I still suck at shooting it. I have no gun control, so as I was shooting it, it was bouncing all over the place. I couldn't get it to come right back down into a proper sight picture. It was like all over the place like this and this. So I got a lot of work to do, but overall, I think this thing's badass. That's my review. I mean, what else am I going to say? I can't no failure to eject and this is with the cheapest dog shit ammunition that you can buy from walmart federal winchester i don't know if you would consider that a comprehensive uh handgun review but that is my review uh if you have any questions leave them in the comments dude i love this thing it's really sweet it's a good looking gun made in america so you can't beat it if you're interested the fns 9 long slide check it out thank you for watching the print life Thumbs up, subscribe. It's after 7, it's like 7.30, so I'm going to end the vlog today. Talk to you tomorrow.